The Cambridge fossil site is west of Richmond and is a former quarry rich in fossil material. Paul Stumcap from the Richmond Fossil Museum took us there and was quick to see that bones and teeth and traces of animals that once lived in this ancient inland sea were all around us. Uh, so this is, would have been Cretaceous marine sediment called the Tulabuck Formation. Um, and within this sediment we found a, a host of, uh, of, of material from uh, very large marine reptiles going to a whole series of fauna of, of fish species and squid and so forth. So uh, the evidence shows that it was an incredibly active area with um, heaps of animals in it. And that's exhibited by not only the bone material but also the actual amount of fossilised poo we get. Uh, we've been ichthyosaur, heaps of ichthyosaur material, we've got lots of shark teeth of various species, which is yet to be determined. Um, but for yeah, reasons uh, one or the other, we haven't been able to find too much big, really big marine reptile stuff like Kronosaurus, but that might come yet. Um, and yeah, it's damn good. It looks like it might be disappearing, but there's that, which might, might be man. part of a fin. There could be chunks of it kind of flaking off all over the place. Well, it's a reasonably large fish, and my guess it'd be an animal called Pachyrhizodus, um, which is a sort of, let's say, a metre long predatory fish, and one of the, a few that are uh, swimming around in the ocean at this point in time. Um, but this particular deposit seems to be yielding reasonably articulated material. So, like this, the tail that Paul found is. Um, is potentially really important because nobody's seen that sort of stuff before. So it's, it's putting the, the front and the back ends together for the first time, if you like. Okay, well what I'm doing here at the moment is I'm just doing a bit of consolidating work on, on um, a lot of the exposed material. What we've got here is, is really a, a plethora of, of, of really interesting bits and pieces. All of them um, unfortunately disarticulated, but nevertheless they're all, they're all the really interesting parts of a skeleton, most notal, notably being the, um, the teeth. So we've definitely got some teeth of um, what um, has now been defined as ichthyosaur here. We've got teeth of a lasmosaur as well. We've got parts of turtle. We've got shark teeth over here as well. And we've got quite a, a, a beautiful example of a, um, a tail fin of, of, a, of a large fish, um, particular species unknown as yet. Um, and what I'm doing is um, I'm putting what's called paralloid on top of the, the, um, the exposed bone material. And that's like a consolidating agent which will um, hold that together before we start doing some uh, mechanical prep work on, on actually trying to get the, the material out of the, the matrix. So finding a giant skeleton is only part of the picture. What we can find from the, the particular lo uh, locality we've been working here with this finer grain sediment is actually piecing together what the ancient ecosystem was actually like. What you can sort of see here is a, a mishmash of tiny bits and pieces that tell us about all the other kinds of animals that were around in the seas at the time. We have parts of turtles, ichthyosaurs, bits of belemnite and coprolites, fossilised droppings, actually telling us what things were eating. Alongside these you find other remains, for example pterosaurs, flying reptiles, and give us an indication of not only what was living in the ocean, but was what was flying around in the skies above the seas 100 million years ago. The virtue of this locality also, we've been able to find material that's articulated. You can see here the specimen we collected a couple of days ago, basically it's an articulated fish fin. You're looking at the vertebral column and the blades of the tail itself. In fact, in terms of preservation, yes, this animal obviously settled onto the seafloor and was undisturbed. And now all we have is the remains of its skeleton effectively preserved for 100 million years.